T-Spines for Rhino allows designers to focus on form and aesthetics without the challenges of traditional surface modeling. One way to make a T-Spines model is to start with a simple primitive. Primitives include cubes, spheres, cylinders, and planes. These shapes can then be modified by pushing, pulling, and other T-Spines operations until the final model is achieved. Let's look at some examples. To model this dolphin, we start with a box primitive. The entire primitive is one unified surface, so you can move grips anywhere to shape the contours of the model. By extruding faces, we can create the fins and the nose. Throughout the whole modeling process, T-Spines keeps the entire dolphin as one smooth, continuous surface, so you don't have to worry about naked edges, blends, or discontinuities. As an aside, you can view any T-Spines model, including primitives, as rough, boxy meshes for a smaller file size and faster manipulations, or as smooth surfaces to see the actual shape and aesthetics of the model. To model these scissors, we start with a primitive plane, which we call an appended face in this instance. Then, we move control points and extrude edges to follow the outline of the shape that we want. It kind of feels like we're stacking blocks to rough out our shape. Once we have a 2D shape that matches our outline, we thicken it into a solid. This gives us a smooth volume that we can continue to push and pull into the final model. To model a bike pedal, we start with a primitive cylinder. By now you are probably starting to see how easy it is to explore designs by moving edges and control points around. With symmetry on, you only need to work on one half of the model. You can add additional detail to tie nut parts of the model and convert to NURBS to add other details. To recap, by starting with the T-Spines primitive, you can achieve an initial design with a few simple commands, then push, pull, and add detail to fine-tune the design.